in film music, uh, there's a lot of um, chords and harmony that sounds atonal, but um, actually they are not. Um, I guess it's like jazz. Jazz sounds kind of out, off, but it's not atonal because all the chords are explainable. <laughs> Okay, uh, same with these chords. I'm going to call these attention chords. Okay, so they're... And actually, if, if you voice them a certain way... Um, voice them a certain way, they can sound like atonal clusters. Yeah. Okay, so there's um, two of these chords, two types I would like to talk about. This and this. So it's just a difference of one out. Okay. Okay. We'll talk about these two uh, chords and their variations. Okay, let's uh, talk about the first one first. So what is this? Yeah, it sounds very mysterious already, doesn't it? This is a C augmented major seventh. The scale you would use um, with this chord is the uh, A minor melodic or A, A, A melodic minor. Yeah. Or A harmonic minor. Okay, let's talk about the variations, kind of variations. If you put this over an, an, an A, you would get um, an A minor ninth major seventh. A minor major, A minor ninth major seventh. So here's A minor, the ninth, ninth and the major seventh. This one sounds darker than, than the first one. The strings. Yeah. If you put this over an F sharp, yeah, this sounds more tense now, doesn't it? Especially if you keep the A. This uh, can be called the F sharp minor 11th flat 5. F sharp. Minor or eleven. Five. Five. Yeah. If you put this over a D, to those of you that play jazz, <laughs> this is actually a, a straight D thirteenth sharp eleventh, isn't it? Yeah. So this this previous one. Let's go back one. This, you, you could call this a, a, a D13 sharp 11 over F sharp. But it doesn't matter what you call these. It's, if it sounds cool, it sounds cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if you put this over a, 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 an E, uh, then so, this sounds uh, more square. Well, yeah, square. I'm not saying, not saying it's a bad thing, but... L less tension, I guess, because it's a uh, E major triad with a with a C. E major triad, E major with a flat six, I guess you would call it. Again, it doesn't matter what you call it. 
these use these names as uh, guides when you compose or arrange or orchestrate. <laughs> If you put this over a B, you get some, you, guess you get some tension with because of the the B and the C here. You could put it over a G sharp. Yeah, you can, you can hear tension here. Let's go back to the piano. Yeah, this um, this would be a, 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 a G sharp augmented with a flat nine knife, a sharp knife, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, let's go back to this. If you put this over an, an F natural. Ah, this sounds very tense. Now, why is that? Because uh, there's two major sevens here, isn't there? And here. You could voice them in a way, you, you could do that. That's a cluster now, isn't it? With a, the G sharp. Fingers, huh? I'll do it. Yeah, it's a cluster, but you could use, um, well, a border, borderline cluster, perhaps. <laughs> you would, uh, you, you could use the uh, A minor, A harmonic minor scale in this. Okay, let me find a way to do that. If you uh, wanted to want some more, even more tense, something more tense, you can put this over C sharp. Now that sounds very, well, not very, that sounds more out now, doesn't it? A more, atonal, more atonal. What is this? This is, this will be a, it's actually a C sharp minor seven with a major seventh. So that's the clash. That's the clash there. That's that's what makes it sound atonal. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's talk about um, that other one. That other chord voicing or chord. Okay, this one. Uh, this is uh, a, um, a C major 7 flat 5 yeah and those of you that play jazz um, this is a D a straight D uh, 13th chord isn't it yeah but without the D it sounds it does not sound like jazz depending on the orchestration I mean <laughs> with, and with with a percussion track and with marcato strings it sounds like film music <laughs> yeah now if you had if you played this o over an a it's now um an A minor or six nine chord. This is, this is the James Bond chord, isn't it? Isn't it? Let's see, if, okay, with brass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, it's the same scale, actually, I was gonna say, um, with as the previous, the previous chord. Yeah, A melodic minor. Yeah, uh, A harmonic minor would not work because the F sharp would clash with the F sharp. Anyway, if you put this uh, over a uh, over an F sharp. Yeah, this sounds quite tense, but still, still uh, tonal. Actually, if you voice, you know, again, depending on the voicing, it could, it can sound like a cluster or atonal. If you put this over uh, an E, let's go to piano. Yeah, that sounds less tense, I guess. Let's put this over a, a D. Oh, well, this is now a straight uh, D13, like I was saying, huh? B. That sounds tense. If you want it to sound more atonal, put it over C sharp. Oh, this is quite uh, out. You put over B flat. Oh, this is. This is actual <laughs> atonality, isn't it? I think this is, you cross the line between tonally and atonal here, if you ask me. If you ask me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, that's it for now. Um, in the last video, I, I did say that in this video, I, I, I would we would go over some of my compositions. Um, I lied. <laughs> I wanted to go through these chords uh, before doing so, and I will. We will do that next um, in the next video. We will um, analyze some of, some of my compositions in uh, the next video. Thanks for watching.